today I wanted to share one of the most exciting parts of our latest build, which is a plumbing manifold system. And this is in place of a traditional trunk and branch system. So I want to go over some of the advantages, the disadvantages, so you can decide if this is something that you're interested in. So first off, it is very easy to service. As you can see here, this is our, our manifold where we have home run lines to every single faucet, fixture, and if you have any leaks, you're able to go ahead and turn off whichever marked line you're interested in. Now with regards to if you want to add something in, we've already pre-planned a couple of lines that are run into the ceiling and then are capped and waiting to get connected at some later time if someone's interested in, let's say, a utility sink or a wet bar, that kind of thing, it's ready to go. Now, if you look at this in comparison to a traditional trunk and branch system, where is it? It's hidden in your walls. So tapping into that system is much, much more difficult than a trunk and uh, than a manifold, even if it's not planned. So the next point is that if you have a leak, it, a manifold system buys you time. Naturally, it seems that Surprises like a leak happen on the weekends, at night, whenever it's the most inconvenient time, which is also when the plumbers get paid the most as well. So you need to plan time off of work, you're, 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 or maybe you're not able to take off of work. So if it's a hot water line, you're shutting off the hot water. If you have a trunk and branch system, that is, you're shutting off the hot water, if you're lucky, or you have to shut off the entire house until the leak is figured out and, so, and fixed. If you have a manifold system, all you have to do is shut off whichever line it is and make the fix on your schedule. The next question you might have is, am I actually going to use less hot water or I'm probably going to use more hot water with the manifold, right? Because we have all of these home runs that are going throughout the house. Well, it really depends on your usage. So if you are using, I, from my perspective, I'm taking a shower, I'm not washing my hands after that, or when I go to the bathroom, it's gonna take me a couple hours before I go to the bathroom again, so I won't be using it in that amount of time. The water would have cooled off, and I will have to blow out the entire hot water line in order to have hot water again. So for me, it's not that big of a deal, but also, it also depends on your trunk and branch system as to how it's run. In my house, my master bathroom jumps off of a, a uh, middle bathroom, and so there is a 90 degree triangle there, whereas if the manifold was run at the hypotenuse, it would be a shorter line. Now, I'm not going to be walking, I'm not going to be using both my master and my middle bathroom at the same time. So it really does depend on your situation as to if you think you're going to use more water or not as to which system works best for, for you. Uh, the next point is you detect the source of the leaks faster. And we figured, we found some really great products, some new devices at the International Builder Show in February. Bupinor Finn and Mo and Flo are whole house water monitoring systems. So you put it on at your stack so you're able to detect if any leaks happen in the supply lines of your house. Great, great technology. However, my question at the time was, how do you know where it is? I have a trunk and branch system. What does that do for me other than panic when I find out that I have a leak and it's not in my faucet and it's not anywhere that I can see? Is it in the walls? Is it under the slab again? Where is it? And I had the Eureka when I was coming home. What if I had a manifold system? What do you do? All you have to do is go turn everything off. All of these go off. And then you turn one on at a time and run their testing cycle to see, hey, here's where the, the water line is. And you know what? At that point, you leave that turned off. And then you have access to everything still. Whereas if you are... If with a trunk and branch system, you will be saying, hey, plum, where is it? I don't know. This has got it solved for you, and you do it at your convenience. Now, the one win that I can really see argue for a trunk and branch system is cost. 
this line, we're running all of these lines to every individual faucet. There, it's a shared line, as well as the cost of the manifold itself. However, it really depends on what matters to you, and also when you think about it, how much, when you're making repairs and that sort of thing, how much more are you paying to pay the plumber and to do all the repairs to your drywall, baseboard, whatever the case may be, the inconvenience to your life versus something like this where you can see it. So really it matters, it comes down to what matters to you. Is it the minimal initial cost or is it the convenience of accessibility and it's less expensive repairs and you can detect problems. So in any case, thanks for watching and follow along. This week we'll be covering more on our lessons learned and how we did this, what we would do different and better 